Capricorn. What's popping? What's going on in the life of a Capricorn between now and the 28th of February? Hmm? Are we in this energy of speaking what it is that we feel? No bullshit. We don't care who likes it. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> hey, Boo Hey, if this is your first time to my channel, hey, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. Disclaimer, I cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube that can better resonate with you without cussing. All right? Um, this is your first time to my channel. Welcome to the family, y'all. We are dysfunctional. We don't fight. We don't fuss over here. We do cuss. All right? But we love, we grow, we share, we evolve. We enlighten one another, y'all, and we uplift. Posy vibes only, all right? This will be for my sun, my moon, my rising, my Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Capricorn between, again, Today, the 18th and the 28th of February, to my returning subscribers, family, uh, what the hell has been going on? Y'all been having people talking to y'all at the side of their neck? The people got y'all messed up? Uh -huh. Make me get up. Yeah, that's how I feel, Capricorn feel. Mm. But no worries, honey. You have to sacrifice some things in order for you to receive some things, okay? So for situations where you're having to release, uh, release reckless people, reckless circumstances, it is not happening to you yet for you, okay? So be able to um, really look at things from a different perspective this um, this mid-half of February, okay? All right, so of course this is general. It's not personal. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found below within the description, okay? All right, so I'm going to start off with my intuitive messages that um, I actually received while meditating on the energy of um, Capricorn, all right? All right, so what I got for you all was compromise, spiritual gifts, trust, family ties, ancestors, dreams, inheritance, mediating, new love, legal documents, research. And I also have the pouring of abundance. Did you hear that? A pouring. Hallelujah. Receive it. Receive it, Capricorn. A pouring of abundance. All right. So next we're going to start with your um, angel message. All right. From It comes from the crystal angels. No, is it the, I don't know. I believe it's the, um, art, no, it's the archangels oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. Sorry, y'all. Wasn't looking at it. All right, so your message comes from Archangel Zachiel. Compassion. Soften your heart with respect to this situation and all the people involved, including yourself. Be gentle with yourselves during this time, Capricorn. A lot of you all may, you really need to trust in your dreams. A lot of you all may be connecting with your ancestors uh, that is assisting you in moving forward and the moves that you need to make going forward um, in this mid-month. One well, mid month in this mid half of February. All right, so let's see what's going on in your love life because the general energy around the reading for you all, you guys receive the Ten of Swords. All right, so let's see what's going on. Ultimate deception, ultimate betrayal. I'm done with that shit. I'm putting it down. Them tens, them tens, releasing. One second. Okay, what messages do you have for my Capricorn in love between now and the 28th of February? Yeah, third party situations, okay? So the truth about a third party situation could be coming forth, okay? And I feel like this could definitely have to do with either you or another person uh, resisting actually putting in the effort to materialize the commitment, okay? I definitely feel like someone wanted to have their cake and eat it too. This could be, this could have to do with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could also have to do um, with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I feel like in releasing, because some of you all, I feel like have someone has been, I'm feeling the energy of um, 
really not wanting to. Like, I don't want to. Like, not today. I don't want to. But tomorrow never comes. So I feel like because someone did not make an upright decision or a decision to actually uh, release a person, place, a thing, spirit is assisting in a catalytic situation that's coming forth in a third party. Okay? For some of you all, I'm feeling and hearing that the third party does not necessarily have to be a person, but it could also be finances, money. Okay? Someone is putting more... Um, Someone's putting more more focus into their finances and not really opening up in a relationship and being vulnerable. Vulnerable. They're resisting changing. They're stuck in their own ways, and it's causing you or another person heartbreak. They're wanting to walk away from the connection at this time. All right. For some of you all, yeah, some of you guys could definitely be focusing on work. Okay. For some of you all, you could also be focusing on working on a connection. All right. I do feel for those of you who have been waiting uh to uh possibly or looking forward for new business endeavors or looking forward to moving towards new jobs. That energy is looking good. I do see you guys actually being blessed with some type of uh, financial opportunity or some type of financial abundance. For some of you all, this could also have to do uh, with some form of inheritance assets, okay? Some form of business structure or family asset tie, I'm hearing. Um, for some of you all, you are working on a relationship possibly with the Virgo or possibly... Um, Possibly just focusing on your passions, focusing on your life purpose, focusing on your endeavors, focusing on your the, the legacy that you want to leave behind. For some of you all, um, you could also, some of y'all could also be dealing with someone who you work with that's a fire sign, Aries, strong emphasis of Aries or Leo or Virgo. I definitely feel like there is a super passionate connection here that you are having with another person. Strong emphasis on fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. You could be in solitude or away from this person that's really focused on yourself right now for some of you all. But this person is going to be coming forward. Now, when they come forward, some of y'all could also could have started something new and could be dealing with someone else or dealing with, some, dealing with someone new after going into a period of solitude when finding out about a third party situation um, with someone who you really, who you love, who you're very passionate about. Some of y'all could be releasing yourself from um, just something physical or just a physical relationship that you could have been having with the Virgo or um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like one of you all wanted to work on a relationship and the other person really, really just wanted to be in solitude and work on their own finances, work on their own stability. Okay. For some of you all, we're transforming a relationship after uh, receiving or giving an offer from, um, from or to, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, strong emphasis on Aries here. This could also have to do with the Taurus individual. What is the outcome? Yeah, some of y'all are um, really in your head about starting something new or renewing a relationship with the fire sign. I feel like this person comes in and out of your life. You're walking away from that type of behavior. I feel that some of you are really just feel this energy of I can do bad all by my damn self. But shit, in the midst of doing bad, or what you feel like is doing bad emotionally, Cap is the coin looking good. I'm talking to Capricorn. Some of y'all just got on here just like, Mocha, what the hell is going on with my money? All right? Yeah. New beginnings, okay? For some of you all, there is a new start happening, possibly with the fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, after possibly walking away from an air sign. For some of you all, you walked away from a Scorpio individual, all right? This was, and for some of you all, this has to do with the transformation, self worth fulfillment, what it is that you want, okay? Spirit, why is the death card here? Why is the death card here for my cat piece? Yeah, movement forward. Some of you guys could be moving away, okay? Or actually, some of you guys could actually have to, could have had to move locations, like move. You could have broken up with someone and had to move out, or this could be happening now. If you're dealing with the sign of Scorpio, strong emphasis on Scorpio or uh, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you guys are moving away from a toxic situation where someone was drinking, smoking too much, and it was really affecting the finances, and you guys moving forward, okay? Um, yeah. Some of you all... 
Some of you guys are moving away, okay, from a third party situation that could involve uh, possibly yourself, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, strong emphasis on the fire, who could be connected to a Virgo, okay? For some of you all, some of y'all could be married or involved and dealing with someone who's married or involved. And someone is releasing themselves from this connection. They, don't know, they no longer want to be a part or someone no longer wants to be an option. Why is the devil here? Why is the devil? Why is the devil? Some of you guys are uh, releasing a sexual, a sexual connection only, uh, possibly with a Virgo. Okay, and this person could have wanted to um, have some form of commitment, but some of you all only looked at it sexually. Okay, and this could also involve a fire sign. But Capricorn, I feel that some of you all, you had to release this toxic connection because you have somewhere to be. You have a new start. Okay, for some of you all, you're releasing yourself from. Um, a toxic work situation and you don't know that with releasing yourself and walking away and getting outside of your comfort zone all right that there is this newness you have a new opportunity on the brink of a new opportunity that that looks brink of a new opportunity that looks very flourishing from a financial aspect okay and for some of you all you're walking away from someone possibly due to the fact that they're getting ready to move or you're moving could have to be you could have to choose between um, a partnership as well as a new opportunity elsewhere okay and I feel like some of you guys are kind of standing still not wanting to make a decision however there will be a decision made either you're making it or your uh, your or your better half is making it okay but I do see some type of internal conflict stubbornness okay someone not wanting to be by themselves someone uh, really not wanting and I also see a sense of self-sabotage someone kind of being in their own way and preventing a new beginning a new beginning from happening because they're only focused on the financial aspect of a relationship and that's their there's no presence, okay? Again, I saw that at 1111. Why is the magician here? Some of you guys, there's definitely going to be a new start with the fire sign. And I feel like this could have been someone who made you feel left out in the past or you made this person feel left out. Okay, if someone's really tired of putting in the work towards a new start, they're just going to focus on their new beginning, focusing on flourishing. Yeah. Okay, so... For some of you all, there is victory and a reconciliation having to do with the fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. There's also, um, some of you, there's victory and some type of new flourishing financial opportunity. Some of you guys are going to be releasing someone, releasing a situation that, that, that just has a bunch of third party energy around it, okay? Either you could be committed, you could be committed to someone or someone else could be committed to someone else. Or maybe you're releasing yourself from your partner who just can't stop with the third party energy. And there is, you're on the brink of a new beginning though, okay? So I do see. I see the Ace of Pentacles here, y'all. I got the Ace of Wands here twice. I got the Ace of Pentacles here twice, y'all. So I will say, with releasing, okay, with the ending of something comes something beautiful. And I feel like it's long awaited. You manifested this for some of you all, but it's you cannot stand in your own way. You know, it, even when it comes to moving forward or it comes to making a decision, do not self-sabotage. Make it choosing to make the decision to not make the decision and stand in your own damn way. What spirit is trying, you praying for, you can't pray for some shit and then kind of stand in the way or be in this self-sabotaging energy of, well, I ain't get it, it ain't here yet, so I guess it's not going to happen. I only look at the negative aspects of things before you even give the positive a shot. You won't know unless you don't try. And you won't know until you actually jump out there. Sometimes life, this journey period, will require us to have to jump off the damn cliff sometimes. And we can't take that little minute or three to think about it. God is saying right now, will you trust me? Yes, it hurts, but will you trust me? Will you allow me to restore, rebuild, restructure, renew, replant, and, 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 and really allow me to lay those seeds for you? So that you can be happy. Because one thing you can't take with you is none of this material stuff. You can't take any, any, any you can't take, your damn casket will not have no you how attached to the back of that bitch. You understand? What matters? What matters? Who matters? When you look at your life in five, in, in five years, how do you, what, what do you want it to look like? What work are you willing to put into adding to that? And the person who you with, who you looking at every day, do you see them there? That is the question.
if you got to think about it well, uh, you might want to get you a damn journal and get the really outlining your life and outlining things that really matter to you during this time, okay? All right, but ultimately, I see beautiful energy, but you have to get out of your own way, all right? For some of you, this could be a renewal, um, renewal or some of you guys could also be um, actually moving and starting your own business endeavors, okay? But in doing so, you're doing it after a period of chaos, after possibly going through something in your personal life and having to release someone. And we're going to need you to focus, renew, restructure, rebuild, recenter. Love yourself, protect your energy, ground yourself, and understand that everything happens for a reason. Turn your L into a lesson, baby, and keep it moving forward and understand that God got you. And with knowing that, you don't have to be afraid to make a decision. And you don't have to be afraid to let someone in or be vulnerable to someone after a third party situation because everybody is not going to everybody is not going to do with you do to you what the last person did to you. And everybody changes. Are you the same person who you was last year? So don't count anyone out, all right? So this is what I have for you guys in love between now and the 28th of February. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found below in the description, all right? I love you all very, very, very much, and I'll see you for the March Generals. Love y'all, boo. Namaste.